Hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Dark Souls. Um, I just got to the second bonfire in the game and just like that one random player note before it said, all the enemies outside have respawned. I'm assuming this happens anytime I touch a bonfire so I'm going to have to choose carefully whenever I need to level up or when I need to just keep going because anytime I come back I'm gonna have to fight all these guys all over again. So, speaking of which, let's get on that. These guys seem like the exact opposite of what I want to deal with right now. So, I think I'm just going to go back. I actually saw a different area I haven't explored yet, so I'm going to go see what's over there first. Oh boy, it begins again. Wonder how many other deaths I'm gonna have in this episode. Trick them into a false sense of security, block their attack, and then counter it. Those guys are easy. about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> okay, no. This NPC freaks me the fuck out. Like, he's gonna be the kind of NPC that comes back later and stabs me in the back. Or throws a knife at my back given what he sells. Whoa, what's this? I think I just watched another player's death. If so, that's a very, very cool feature. <laughs> okay guys I've been grinding between bonfires I've gotten some arrows I've gotten a secondary bow to use those arrows with I've gotten a full set of chainmail a short sword two short swords actually although I don't know how much I'm going to be dual wielding because the shield is quite literally a lifesaver What the heck is this white thing? I've never seen that before. Oh boy, I wonder what I can trust here. After all, we have one message saying that we have a liar, and one saying we have a shortcut. Now, I know this is probably going to get me killed, but I have to see where it leads. And I am disappointed. Oh, so disappointed.
that's a treasure that could be useful later on for sure. Hello there. Just like before, we're going to try to pull them, one at a time if possible. That did not go according to plan. How did I even let myself get in this situation? I am the worst Dark Souls player ever. Not even gonna mess with those guys this time. Where the hell did that come from? Uh uh. Killing these guys is so easy now, it makes me embarrassed to watch my previous playthroughs. Okay, no. I'm not gonna deal with that right now. I don't feel like having another incident like the boulder. Nope. I'm just gonna go downstairs. That guy is big. I'ma kill it. These corridors are way too narrow for me to see anything. When it zooms up, I'm fucked. My point is proven. Let's try to lead him somewhere a little more spacey. Never before have I felt someone's pain so strongly. Yeah. 
I really should quit trying to heal. This guy is way too fast. Careful now. He's gotta be careful. Fuck! Guess who learned to parry and repost? That's given me some new hope for beating that Blight Knight guy. It might be the only way I can do it at this level. No, I know I timed that right. Nah, man, fuck this guy. He's not even taking any damage. I'm done. There's no way I can beat him where I'm at right now. He's so close. I can't die now. Fuck, you fucking kidding me. What am I doing wrong? I don't even know. I really don't even know. One more time. One more time. I can't mess up now. I can't. I can't. Yes! Nothing could stop me now. Oh my god. I've been fighting him for so long. To a lot of the people watching this, that guy might be child's play to you, but you can tell by the amount of souls that I have gone through about six to seven retrievals, and a few times where I was not able to retrieve in order to achieve that. That was my first real victory of the game, and to be honest, the adrenaline I felt from that victory has got me hooked. I cannot wait to play more of this. I'm going to be looking up a few things in terms of build so that I don't completely mess this up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. It'll really help out a lot. And it'll also let you guys see when I put out the next part. And until then, I'll see you guys later.